It was 1995, there was tension between Bad Boy Records and Death Row Records, Tupac have just joined Death Row Records. Suge Knight the owner of Death Row Records was at war with Puffy Combs and Tupac as well was at war with Puffy and Biggie for the Quad Studio shooting. Method Man of the Wu-Tang Clan was featured on Biggie's Ready to Die album on a track called The What, and he was also featured on Tupac's album All Eyes on Me on a track called Got My Mind Right. Method Man flew to Los Angeles to attend the 1996 Soul Train Awards, where he was nominated for Best Rap Album, To Call, an R&B Soul or Rap Song of the Year. There were entourages from both Death Row and Bad Boy at the afterparty. Therefore, Method Man, an East Coast rapper, did not want to become embroiled in the dispute between the two labels. Furthermore, Although it was only these two labels fighting, the media was portraying it as an East vs. West conflict. That night, Method Man was alone when Puffy approached him with six bodyguards. Puffy was so happy to see Method Man that, Puffy even gave Method Man a hug, after hugging him, Method Man looked around to see if the death row guys were there. It appeared that Puffy had done this on purpose to demonstrate that Method Man was on Bad Boy's side. Wu-Tang Clan was not there that evening, so Method Man stood by himself at the booth. He relaxed there until Queen Latifah invited him to join them at their table. Method Man was happy that he wouldn't be seen hanging out with Bad Boys or people on death row at last. I'm by myself. Yeah. Uh, it didn't hit me while I'm in the club, in the House of Blues, till I saw Puff. Right. And this ain't a slight against Puff, but it was like, I see Puffy. Right. And I see Puffy with like six bodyguards. Oh. Then it hit me. It was like, wait a minute. <laughs> the the oh, shrooms you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah, The whole, the whole, no, the whole everything. The whole everything. everything. <laughs> the situation, everything. Everything that's going on. Yo, when I tell you, it. right. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss like a motherfucker. <laughs> but I see Puffy come in and mind you, Puff don't speak to me. Mm -hmm. No, nah, he speaks to me, but he never speaks to me like this. Okay. Embrace Matt for something. Did he have a shiny suit on? No, he didn't have a shiny suit on. Puff had on all black. <laughs> <laughs> but he was on point. You can tell he's on point. Okay. He ain't had nothing to drink, none of that shit. Right. But he had all these niggas with him, bodyguard niggas. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, oh shit. Hmm. I slide my ass. Now I'm looking around to see if anybody saw me speak to this motherfucker and saw that <laughs> shit, right? And don't ask me why no, I'm thinking this. It's just, I don't want to be on anybody fucking radar right, right. at this point, right? right. The shrooms. <laughs> so I'm up in, you know, I remember how they had the, the food booths and, you know, you could sit up in the booth. So I'm sitting up on top of the booth, sitting like this, right? And I'm in my head like crazy. And I was like, did that just happen? Because Puff's never that nice to me. Right. I mean, he's nice, okay. but he's never that nice to me. Okay. <laughs> this is after you, you got off the plane with Shug. This is no, that's okay. everything. I'm in the club now. I've okay. seen Puffy okay. come through, and now it's like, oh shit, East Coast. Okay. okay. Oh, he's damn. <laughs> and I'm sitting there and shit, and it's like, <laughs> and I hear meth, meth. And I look, and it's Latifah. It happens. Uh huh. All the lights come on. I'm leaving. Turn around, Tupac. Mm. In the Shug. same club, Puff is Yeah, it? the whole night. I had no idea though. Thank you for watching, please like the video and subscribe to the channel, for more upcoming videos.